Hey everyone, I'm Melissa with Caesar North America, and this is Designing with Decals. Today, I want to talk about Easy PSV Chalkboard. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a terrible artist. So I want to show you a little trick on how to make those flawless chalkboard signs like what you see on Pinterest. Easy PSV Chalkboard is truly a unique product. It acts just like any normal vinyl. Plus, there's no messy chalkboard paint to deal with. And it's CPSIA compliant, so it's safe for children's playrooms. So let's dive into this exciting project. All of the supplies that you'll need for today's project is some Easy PSV Chalkboard, some Easy PSV Removable, along with the application tape. You'll also need a board or a plank or something to cover, um, a squeegee, a weeder, a uh, knife or scissors that we're gonna cut around the board, and then of course some chalk. Place the Easy PSV onto your cutting mat, vinyl side up. Then load your cutting mat into your vinyl cutter and begin cutting. So while I have my Easy PSV removable in my vinyl cutter, I am going to go ahead and apply this Easy PSV chalkboard to my board. So I have it cut just a little bit larger than the board. What I'm going to do is peel back a little corner to get it started. And tack that down. Now we can take the liner off and we know it's in a good spot and then squeegee it down. Okay. So now I'm just gonna get my cutting mat here and then trim off this extra piece that's hanging over the board. So I pulled my Easy PSV removable off of my vinyl cutter because it's done cutting. And now I'm going to start weeding. So since we're actually using this vinyl as a stencil, we're gonna reverse weed. So let me show you what that means here. Basically, instead of keeping the letters on there, we're gonna take them out. All right, so we have our Easy PSV Removable all cut and weeded. So now I am going to apply the application tape on top of it. So again, when doing larger pieces like this, sometimes it's easier just to pull back the corner. This also makes it so you're not touching the adhesive, especially on this or on the chalkboard because when you touch the adhesive, you're actually contaminating it. So it's best to try to stay away from touching the adhesive all the way. So I am just going to tack down this corner. So I know that it's actually gonna lay just like this when I pull the liner off of it. Actually, just kind of use your hand to keep it smooth on here so you don't get any bubbles or wrinkles. Just little bits at a time I'm pulling the liner. So we got it all the way done. And then go over it again with your squeegee.
You might want to go over some of these smaller inner areas a little bit just to make sure they're completely bonded to your transfer tape. So now, peel back the liner off of your vinyl. I swear this is the hardest part. Just trying to get that liner, there we go. And then peel the liner back. Now we are going to place this down on to the chalkboard. And then squeegee that down. And we can remove the transfer tape. So now that just leaves our stencil onto our chalkboard. Now you can use regular chalk or you can use chalk markers. I like the markers because they're a little bit less messy and they're a little bit brighter too. So. And just color it in. Okay, so now that it's all filled in, you just wanna let it sit for maybe a few minutes before we start peeling it off because we wanna make sure it's dry. Hmm. Oh, while I'm waiting. Ooh, that's a cute craft. Should use that for my next video. <laughs> so I think this is dry enough to where we can actually pull the vinyl off now. So, peel. So once you're done, just leaves your chalk on the chalkboard. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications for our future videos, and we'll see you next time.